Finally getting back into the Let's Play, this is KYN, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Lemmings Cranium Preview, everyone. So last time saw 10 more levels of the challenge rank, and um, so we are essentially down to the uh, final nine, 9 levels now. Um, yeah, um, hit a couple of hard ones in the previous video, but um, yeah, I managed to get through them after some time. And um, I would probably expect like the, the final stretch to be, um, um, to have some... Um, difficult lows as well. And in particular, I think I've been hearing that the penultimate low is a pretty hard one. But um, yeah, I guess I'll uh, wait and see because um, I think I know which low it is, but I am not certain right now. Um, I'm thinking it's simply due to the uh, very strict time limit. Yeah, but at the same time, it might also be due to the um, skill set that's provided as well. But again, uh, we'll wait and see until uh, when I get to that point. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get into Let's Play now. Alrighty, next up, challenge 22, Senseless Sacrifice. One of the lemmings, 95 to be saved, and a time limit of one minute. Okay, and this is credit to Crane and Richard uh, Diaz. Um, I wonder where Richard Diaz, maybe it's a, a solution that uh, Crane saw from him. Yeah, and um, I believe Richard Diaz was one of the um, early, um, like, um, people who I saw... Um, um, like Lemmy Solutions from. Yeah, I know that he, um, this person is very well known for like challenge solutions to the, um, um, or rather very like, um, like very creative solutions to the um, lows from the official games. Yeah, some of them I remember being pretty blown away by. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Richard, Richard Diaz. Yeah, I know there were a couple of other authors I've seen as well. Well, maybe maybe not after, but rather like uh, YouTubers that I've seen solutions from too. I think Alfonso was another one. Yeah, if I am using the username correctly. Um, yeah, I think uh, he uh, focused on specific um, solutions. So maybe like, um, I think it was like um, solutions that don't involve like destroying the terrain or, or whatnot. Yeah, I don't remember if that's the person or if it's someone else. But um, yes, I certainly do remember seeing a couple of YouTube users, yeah, with uh, some very, very interesting solutions that I most likely would not have, like, come up with myself. Or, um, if I did, I probably wouldn't be able to pull it off. Yeah, especially on, uh, DOS, which is the point that I grew up with. Yeah, perhaps neo it wouldn't be a problem, you know, since, um, we do have frame stepping and time skips and all of that. And we can easily, like, backtrack, uh, due to rewinding and stuff. But, um... Yeah, a lot of those challenge solutions, yeah, are probably just like beyond my grasp. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, I um, that's a, like a pretty large tangent I went on there. Um, let me see, what do we have to contend with here? And only a minute to finish this low. Okay, so only ten climbers and ten floaters. Well, was it always ten? It might have been. It might have always been ten of those climbers and floaters. Uh, this is probably um the repeat version um, from the boundary line. Yeah, and I can't even remember, remember the position. Uh, it's, it's in the tricky rank. Um, yeah, um, like, uh, like near the beginning of the um, third tenth of the, um, or the, yeah, yeah, the third tenth of the um, rank. Um, let's see. Uh, we can only lose, um, five here, so. Oh, well, isn't it just, um, have one let me turn around, and then, or rather, yeah, make the first let me turn around, and then, um, have the next, uh, ten be, um, climbers. Yeah, and luckily, there's a color shift, so we know which ones will climb. Uh, do I have him? Uh, I think I saw someone turn around. Yeah, fortunately. Yeah, and I thought that climber would like hoist. Do the hoisting animation. Yeah, one of them slipped out. 
Uh, I don't think that will be too much of a problem, though. But, uh... Hopefully, some of the ones that do turn around will not also die to the bottomless pit. Alright, and then... Build here. Uh... Oh my goodness, that was really close. Alright, and then... Yeah, we just dig in. Batch. Yeah, I'm already aware that this is possible. Yeah, I used this a couple of times. Yeah, just basically climb and then dig and then bash to cancel him. Yeah, after he's low enough. Yeah, because one builder staircase is enough. Uh, or rather, it isn't enough, but it will be enough once you like dig away the wall a bit and then cancel with a basher. Yeah, because normally you would need like two builders. Yeah, in order to get out of there successfully without needing any deals. But here, since you only provide one builder, yeah, you have to find some other way to get them out. But yes, I, I'm already well aware of that. And yeah, this one was a pretty easy one to figure out. I think this was pretty much the uh, result of um, basically um, seeing how much you can save. Um, I don't think it's possible to 100% the low. Yeah, but uh, it is possible to just simply lose one. Yeah, like I did here. No, no, I'm sorry. I did not lose one. I lost two. Yeah, so either um, um, the minimum the minimum losses is either lose one or lose two. Yeah, I don't care if a lose one is possible, but um, I definitely know for sure you can lose one or two. Yeah, I think that's the best anyone can do on that low. Uh, anyway, challenge 23. Somebody called the Exterminator. 90 lemmings, 80 to be saved. Time limited, 3 minutes. Yeah, I think I remember um, seeing that... Um, um, the uh, minimum amount of time you need is three minutes, or at least if you are concerned with only um integer time limits, yeah, then three minutes is the minimum. Yeah, and it will still be possible. Okay, no builders here at all. So, uh, so yeah, we will have to do some climber bombing. So let's go ahead and block here. Gotta make sure we bomb them when they're high enough. Yeah, and then we'll have to climb up here as well. Um, I think that would be enough. Yeah. Okay, and then bomb here. Um. Can they climb here? They cannot. Okay. Okay, um, so in that case, let's go ahead and climb up some more before bombing. Nope. Yeah, we have to get up as high as we can here. Nope. So, let's have him climb up a little bit more. Oh, and 
I'm already running out bombers too. Okay. Yeah, I'm using way too many there. Yeah, that would have to be a very precise bomber replacement. Four bombers even enough though. It is enough, but I'm not going to be able to save enough. Okay, so I guess we don't want to block it at the very beginning then. Okay, instead, I'll we'll have to make him a climber. That's one of climber as well. There we go. 
This one's pretty close as well. Okay, here it's, uh, oh no, no, save the primer exactly. Okay, this one was uh, a pretty difficult one. Yeah, it's not very clear which route is the best to take here. Yeah, in particular, this part was pretty hard to see. This one as well, since this is a very precise bomb replacement. Yeah, there's one, only one spot in which that will work, in which it does not destroy and blow through the floor. Okay, challenge 24. Wait, what? 50 dummies, 47 to be safe, time limited 3 minutes. Okay, it's no joke. Uh, for oh no more lemmings. Yeah, just with the um, extra amount of uh, decoration, you're all removed. Yeah, in particular, yeah, there was way more decoration over here on the right side, yeah, in the original. But yeah, all that's been cropped out. Okay, so we still have the original three-minute timer. Um. Okay, we don't have any climbers. However, uh, we just need to um crash underneath the one-way wall. Okay, another custom music track. Although, I've heard this one before. It's been used in a couple of um, Lemon Eye uh, packs that I played. Then again, we could also build over the one-way wall too. Okay, we just let the block going back to the left. Although, I think we'll lose too many if we do that. No, so let's pass a little higher actually. Let's go ahead and max out the release rate here. Yeah, let's go ahead and interrupt um, mid stroke. There we go. Got our worker lemming. No, we'll later just build them out. Although, are we going to run out of builders? I feel like we are. Looks like we will win our builders, unfortunately. Um, hmm. Then again, we do have a bomber. same time, we could also just simply bash underneath the entire thing. I think I better see a solution that bashes underneath the um, uh, all of this anyway.
Yeah, I wanted to see if we could avoid using a builder there. Oh, and I need to max up this screen right now. Okay, managed to finish with two builders to spare. Um, nuke the blocker. Yep, and one over the requirement too. Yep, and there's the ringing. Very nice low. Uh, challenge 25, misdirection. 50 lemmings, 48 to be saved. Time limit to 3 minutes. Okay, um... This one's gotta be a Genesis low. Yeah, because this is certainly not in the original lemmings, I don't think. Yeah, not even in a two-player mode, I think. Uh, let's see. So we can lose up to two here. Um, it seems that we have like far less skills available. Yeah. Um, and what are we missing here? Uh, what skill are we? Oh, we're missing floaters. Okay. Okay, um, yeah, so we have far less builders to work with here. But yeah, it's obvious that the, uh, the right hatch needs to go out this way. Yeah, I think that much should be clear there. So... I don't think we can afford to patch up the gap to the left. Okay, so we pass through here. Yeah, then we'd like maybe take around here. Pass-through blocker there. Okay, and then looks like we have to mine. Yeah, then I think we just have to get as high as we can here. Builders that we do have left. Oh boy, that looks pretty high, though. It's going to max up this ring, too. Yeah, that's like too high. Oh wait, we have a builder left. Er, I'm an idiot. That part seems pretty high. No, okay. So in that case, why don't we interrupt the basher mid stroke? Hopefully that gets around the issue of uh, not being high enough. Uh, no, because now we only have two builders left. So in that case, what about just climbing and bombing? Um, right- oh, oh! Get back here. Alright, 
now would just be enough. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I thought I blocked them in there. Or the ones that get in here will be blocked. Nope. Well, let me select there. Yep. This is more than enough now, I think. Uh, max out of release rate. Plenty of time to spare her. So almost a full minute. Well, technically I did finish her um, with a full minute because I met the save requirement. Yeah, even with the blocker there. But in any case, yeah, um, yeah, to blow up the blocker as well and for the load to end, yeah, it it unfortunately uses up uh, another minute and so it goes underneath it. Uh, in the end, challenge twenty six: where angels fear to tread. Uh, to tread, sorry. Uh, 100 lemmings, 100 to be saved, time limit 3 minutes. Okay, credited to Crane and CC Explore. Uh, we, we haven't heard anything from him for quite a while, CC Explore, I mean. Um, yeah, as a matter of fact, I think he's been away from the forums for about a year now. Yeah, probably close to two years. Um, yeah, he's probably just been really busy, maybe that's why. Yeah, and maybe just uh, lost interest in the game for, for a bit. Well, not for a bit, yeah, for for some time. In any case, yeah, this low right here, this is based on Mary Poppins Land, yeah, which was found in the taxing rank. And also it's remade in the Crystal Tower set, whereas the original was made in the Fire Tower set. Oh, it's that. Yeah, this is evil. I'm... <laughs> In a way, I'm not looking forward to executing this at all. Yeah, 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 because you have to make a build a wall to stop anyone else from going out. Let's go! Yeah, was CC Explorer really the person who came up with the 100% solution? Yeah, I feel like some other people uh, discovered it before he did, but, um, well, I'll, um, I'll give Crane the credit here since, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure he went out of credit of CCX4 otherwise. Um, hmm, maybe it just involves the builder turnaround trick here. Um, but how many do I want to release, though? Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, maybe three? I don't know. There we go. 
But yeah, it has to be sun. Oh, uh, 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 uh. I didn't do it out far enough. Far enough, did I? But yes, uh, that's pretty much the main idea here. Yeah, plus I already know about this anyway, because uh, I recently played a level, well, not recently, but like, um, I played a level from um, Mike's Lemmings, yeah, by Turrican, yeah, which definitely requires this at the start anyway. So, it was just simply a matter of remembering how to do it. So, yeah, it didn't take me as long as I thought. But yes, uh, due to the number of floors that you have, you can always get only sent three on the head. Uh, I don't think it's possible to have any less than that. Yeah, go on to the right to do the rest of the work. Yeah, now the rest is just building platforms. And also finishing the low on time too. And making sure you don't run out of builders. Hopefully I built out a good spot here, and hopefully that's not spot high either. Okay, uh, oh no no no, that's way too low. Yeah, it looks like we have to build much further back. And yeah, uh, pretty much um, when I first played this low as a kid, um, I pretty much only sent one work on that Ming. And so, therefore, time was much tighter, yeah, as a result. Yeah, usually, um, there was a really good chance of running the clock out, yeah, by just doing one worker living. But if you send multiple, yeah, then the time won't be as tight. Yeah, I don't even know if that is survivable, but I'll find out right now. No, no, that should be survivable. So yeah, uh, love where the builder left. Pretty nice one there. And yeah, this would certainly be a pain to uh, do on dulse. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm not even sure if it if it is possible, but um, um, I'm guessing it is. But it's extremely, extremely difficult and annoying to pull off. Yeah, due to how you don't even have directional select or um, you can't assign skills while paused. Uh, challenge 27, Hell's Kitchen, while well, Lemmings one had to be saved, timed up in two minutes. Okay, so yes, uh, the two minute version, that's essentially from the um, Amiga version, because the Amiga version only gives you two minutes on the um, repeat of this low, which is uh, the fast food kitchen, yeah, in the Mayhem rank. Yeah, whereas in the Dulce version, for some very strange reason, they give you three minutes instead. Um... So, um, so because of that, yeah, uh, you don't, you didn't really have to multitask on um, either side. Uh, instead, you could just do one side at a time, and you still finish on time. Um, however, with a two-minute timer, yeah, you have to multitask. Yeah, otherwise we run out of time. So yes, because we have a two-minute time limit here, yeah, we will have to multitask in order to finish on time. Yeah, and we need to save everyone. So. Uh, the interesting thing is that the, um, I believe the Mayhem version in the Dulce port is actually a lot easier than the Tricky rank, uh, than the Tricky version, because in the Mayhem version, for some very strange reason, you can actually lose way more than you can in the Tricky version. Yeah, that is, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure I am, but, um, um, yeah, I remember reading some oddity on that, in that for some very strange reason, the repeat version in the Mayhem rank is a lot easier. Um... Five for everything skill set here. So yeah, we don't have too much to work with. Oh, and not that much builders to work with either. Uh, one, two, three. 
Hmm. Only five builders? Oh, 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 oh. Looks like we have to, like, uh, mine uh, them out. So, um, one, two, three, four. So that only leaves us with a builder left to do something, which is most likely used for this part here. Yeah, uh, in all likelihood. Um, let's see. Yeah, and we need to make a turnaround point for them. Um, let's see. Yeah, here we could just use a blocker. Yeah, a blocker is enough for the right hatch. Now, are they just going to fall over him? Yeah, okay. Oh, good. <laughs> Can contain the crowd that way. So yeah, looks like we just have to use a builder each here. And let's try to get as high as we can. Just one builder. Send him up as a climber. Alright, bash these guys out. Perhaps it's a good time to max out the release rate. Oh, uh, actually, no. Hold off on the bashing there. Yeah, but let's do max out the release rate, though. Oh, they don't even turn around. Hmm. Alrighty, well, let's go ahead and block. So that we can turn another one around. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, no, they went out. went out. Ah, fooey. Six. 
send up our climber here. Problem is over here though. Blocked here. Yeah, can I just release him? Yeah, I can just release him with Basher. Okay. Yeah, so why don't we try that instead? this guy out, the blocker, use our builder to turn them around, uh, turn the miner around, alrighty, nice low here, yeah, this was patch here pretty good, ooh, six, uh, 15 seconds in spare, nice, yeah, certainly a lot harder than the Mayhem um, version, but um, um, yeah, it's a very nice challenge, nice job there, Crane. Uh, challenge 28. How low can you go? 10, lem 10 lemmings, 9 to be saved. And a time limit, limit of 1 minute. Okay, this is credited to Crane and Namita. Okay, uh, I'm going to guess that it's because Namita found a solution to this that Crane liked or something. Okay, this would be the um, repeat version of only floaters can survive this. Um, this would be um, Lemming Entry uh, by Dear Watson or something like that. It's Lemming Entry, Watson. Yeah, something like that. I don't exactly remember the title right now, but um, yeah, it's um, the tricky version. Um, so let's see what we have here. Let's go. Okay, only a digger and a 
two builders and a floor. Huh. That's not this is nothing. I believe the rest should survive. Nope. Yeah, basically you have to get it so that the digger is the only loss that you can afford here. Yeah, unless you can manipulate the others so that you don't lose anyone else. Or rather, you, you lose one, yeah, but then you can also save the digger. No, I could have sworn I remembered doing something like that. Yeah, where I only had one um, be able to survive. It's certainly something like that, though. Um, Um, maybe it's not so simple, but, um, you know, I could have sworn I were doing something like that, and I was able to solve it just fine. Maybe it was just simply with the help of the bomber, yeah, that, I think that's what it was. Yeah, that's what allowed me to, um, um, save the exact, uh, requirement. But here, we, we aren't even provider of bomber, so, um, yeah, we have to come up with something else here. But, uh, what if we just delayed? Oh wait, no, that would not work. So I was thinking of making a splat form for them, but if I try to trap them above the digger pit, then they won't be able to uh, get out later.
Ah, who needs those spots? Seems like you'll spot no matter what. Yeah, even if I delay the next, the second, and the third lemmings with builder siege. Okay. Um. What if we try? There's a pixel remaining. I doubt this will work, though. Yeah, because there's some terrain in the way. Can't do that. I saw that we were running out of time too. Okay, I underestimated. I underestimated this one. Exactly, this is what I mean. I would chop them up there and then wouldn't be able to release them later. Hmm. Yeah, we won't be able to turn the floater around either. Uh, though, maybe we can. Let's just... I think we'll lose too many lemmings by the time he does turn around and make a platform for them. Oh yeah, yeah, we will definitely lose too many before then. Yeah, I underestimate. I underestimate the slow.
Yeah, it would be fine, except that one of me wouldn't spot. And then I will also, also lose the digger, too. Still lose one too many here. Only four skills here. <laughs> this is a deceptively difficult one. Yeah. Plus, I don't think it's even possible to let Bill to like turn around. Oh yeah, certainly not, okay. Maybe... How about we try... I wonder if the fall would be enough to delay them.
He just goes blots. It's probably just off by single pixel too. It's probably just really off by a single pixel. <laughs> wow, Namita, what kind of solution did you find to this level? Then again, it might have been Crane Solution too, but um... Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know what else there can be done here. Sure enough, it is. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I think what I'm gonna do is uh, try for five more minutes, and if I can't come up with anything, then yeah, I'll have to. Um, I'll just stop the recording. Yeah, I'm almost certain that the digger would be the one that's lost. And if that's the case, then yeah, we have to save everyone else. No other can go, or rather, no one can go spot. Because essentially, if we try to save the digger, um, I think some will go spot in the process.
survived the last time when I built with him. So in an upcoming spot, so... Yeah, it's the next time that came in after those two in the pet. He just keeps splatting no matter what.
yeah, I don't know. So I'll come back to this a little later. Um, so no luck here, and I'll reverse some um, uh, roadblock here. So um, not all was lost, though. Yeah, at least there were several levels that were solved, but um, yeah, this one for the time being was a stomper. So yeah, looks like I did run into one after all for this pack or for this demo. So um, tune in next time, and hopefully I will have better luck next time. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.